Uh, we should be starting pretty soon. But believe it or not, any time you come where there are Italians, you find Italians that say that they spoke Yegira, uh, the old Albanian language. We call it Arbresh, too. And uh, your full family name is? Hi, my name is Frank Zappa. I'm a first-generation Italian-American. My parents uh, came over as uh, old teenagers. Uh, and they came from in, an, uh, uh, Calabria? They came from a region of Calabria. My father came from a small town called San Basile, St. Basil. And my mother came from a town called Tivita. And uh, In English, they call it... Uh, Chivita, an Albanian Chifti. Chifti. Yes, that's one of the 51 Albanian-speaking towns and villages. And uh, my parents spoke obviously both Italian and Albresh. Yep. And uh, like my father, me and my brother were raised in a household where they spoke Al Albresh, and me and my brother learned the language, and we speak it quite fluently. Terrific. And Unfortunately, my parents spoke more Albrecht than Italian, so we didn't get to get to learn Italian. But that's all right. Today, the Albanians own a lot of Italian right. restaurants. <laughs> but uh, cousins my age, all my family members, all my cousins were exposed to the same uh, learning of Albrecht as me and my brother were, and we all speak it. And you lived in the Woodlawn section and of the Bronx? I grew up in the Woodlawn section of the Bronx. And your family had a business in Yonkers? In Yonkers. And you were saying that during the summer they sent you back to yeah, the town? when we were very young uh, and had no ties to a job or anything. You know, when we were in early grammar school, right. we would go to Italy and spend almost the whole month of July there. Cause in Civita. Have, in Civita. And... Uh, where some of my mother's family remained behind. And uh, it was a wonderful experience. We tried to learn, speak Albrecht there, but uh, of course, cousins my age, they wanted to learn English. English. So, <laughs> you know, but we both benefited. And, That's uh, a beautiful story, you know that? Yeah, and uh, I have a young, three daughters and a young son, but my young son became quite fascinated with his family story. Oh, great. And he's done a lot of research on his own, which well, you, makes me feel nice. Well, you have the and, book that my brother gave yes, you that shows yeah. the 51. Yes, we did that for yeah. the Albanian Roots Parade, where the theme this year were yeah. the importance or the history of the Albanians in Italy. Yeah. And, and you got that. It's uh, very, uh, very interesting and uh, Terrific. I got to learn a lot of uh, the history and uh, now a few words. Particularly fond of Skanderbeg. He was an Skanderbeg, interesting yes. uh, fellow. George Castriati. He was the yeah. general that not only saved uh, Italy from the Turk. Well, he first he fought the Turks for 25 years, but when he um, went back to um, Albania to, to fight the Turks after he came to Italy to fight the French, that was 1461. He was given this town, Gretchi, that my father came from. There are 2,000 soldiers that stayed there. And it's a lot of fun when I meet cousins of mine and we're yapping away. At yeah. some point in the conversation, we'll <laughs> turn it to one or two sentences in Albrecht, and it's very. And you know, a every lot one of, of these Arbrecht villages have the name Castri uh, Skanderbeg. They have either wow. a road Skanderbeg or... Really? A, wow. Yeah, they, he is their national hero. Very interesting. And by, by the way, he today is the national hero of all Albanians. But everybody that's in Italy knows that he was the one that enabled a lot of uh, Albanians to come there for refuge when the Turks overran right. Albania. He had, died by, him, uh, he had died by them, but his family was still around, oh, and they yeah. respected him so much because he saved the kingdom of Naples right. from the French who were invading and in I, 1461. I, uh, from what I understand, he had very considerable military skills. Oh, unbelievable. Now, say a few words now. You know some basic words like I do, but you really spoke it. So you know bread is book, hair is lesh. Uh, and when Grandma told you to uh, eat, what did she say? Uh, uh, Ha, <laughs> yeah, and, and come, come home. It's yeah, come on. Time, time or uh, or uh, what uh, she said. What do you want? She, she said yeah. chidor. Yes, chidor. Yeah, chidor. and yeah. some fun words like for me, Paul was a pulpet, <laughs> a fork was a grep, a spoon was a tough one, a yug. 
so great. it was some interesting words. Terrific. Well, this is great, and uh, I thank you for taking the time and sharing that with us.